Hello everyone. So welcome to the second video in a series of videos uh, with the subject of uh, how to automate the process of generating PDF reports from uh, data in the Google Sheets. Okay. So uh, again, as I was tell telling, there are multiple sheets in this K1 to K50. So and the data is coming. So the data is something like this timestamp, voltage, current, power, energy, frequency and power factor. So these are the uh, parameters and then I am getting something data like this. In fact, as we speak right now, so you can see, uh, I'll just show you, I'll just add some 10 rows here. So you can see the data will be continuously uh, updated into this sheet. Okay, so now we got a new data, this one. Next, if I wait for some more time, I'll get some, one more record. So like this, the data is continuously getting updated. So this is K33. So like this, we have different uh, sheets. So sometimes there are gaps in data. It's okay. We can see how to uh, deal with that. Okay. So how do we do this? So first thing, in order to access data from a sheet, we need a Google service account. Okay. So that is what I will try to create right now because we need programmatic access we need like a bot access to this. So we need a service account. So for that, uh, so Google developer console. So what you do, you you search for uh, in, in a Google search, go for Google developers console. Okay? So once you go to that developers console, uh, a screen opens like this. So already here, you can see a project 7158, something like this. Okay? So if you don't have any project here, nothing will come. But if you already have some project, then that project will be coming here. I want to create a fresh project. Okay? So how to create a fresh project? So let's see. So open that project and then there is a new project tab here. So click on the new project. Okay, So I am creating a new project. So by default, let me just magnify a little bit. So by default, some kind of random number uh, comes uh, like this. So my project 5325, something like that. So you can just leave it as it is or you can give some name. Okay. So uh, what I will do uh, in order to simplify the naming process. So I go for random.com, random.org or some like uh, a website. I'm sorry, spelling. So you go to uh, random.org website and then just uh, true random number generator. So something like that. Okay. So numbers. I was thinking if I can generate a. Okay, I think I can just directly go here. True random number generator or let's say. generate random string okay so you search like that so directly yeah it goes to this this page so here 10 10 so i'm just uh, going for upper letters and numbers or whatever or just only like this and then say get strings okay so so something like this random uh, strings are generated with numbers and all so i'm i'm selecting one of them so this is just to make it easy to give a name okay some random name i'm giving then create so now uh, you can see I created a new project 7UH and then select that project. So first thing you should see here that the project name should come at the top here. Okay? So, so our project name is 7UH35Z2 something like that. Okay. So creation of project is the first step. After creating the project, we have to go for enable APIs and services. So what kind of APIs are required? So we need uh, Google Drive. Google Drive API, select it and then enable. And one more API you require that is Google Sheets API. So first I am enabling this. It will take a minute. Okay. So then let's create one more. Again, I'm selecting my project. 
I think I have to go back here. So here again, I am selecting Google Sheets. So because we are working with Google Sheets, so Google Sheets API we have to enable. So these two steps, uh, I mean, the first step was uh, creating a project and then enabling these two APIs. Okay. So now after after enabling these two APIs, then you have to create credentials. Okay. So let's go back. Let's go to this project again. So since even I am working on this uh, since recently, so even navigation is kind of uh, new for me. So I am also kind of trying to see. Okay, APIs and services, there is a credentials. Okay, so you can create credentials. So something like this, you will get the screen here on the left. Go for create credentials. Right now, there are no API queries, no OAuth clients, and no service accounts. So these three types of credentials are there. So right now, we'll go with the service account. Okay. So service account, I want to create. Okay? So I can simply say manage service accounts. And then uh, I'm looking for some screen where I can go for uh, creating. Yeah. So creating a service account. So under the project, now I'm creating a service account. So here it's asking for name. Okay, so name again, some random name I'm giving. So uh, some random name I'll give. Just a minute. So you, you copy one uh, random string and then give it here as a name of the service account and some ID automatically it will create. Description is, you know, optional. Go for create and continue. Then select a role. So maybe owner so that you can do any, everything in that and then say done. So now a service account will be created. So here you can see a service account is created. And the service account will have an email ID also. So next to this service account, you have to manage keys. That means you have to create a uh, the JSON object. Okay, so that key file, I, I'll uh, I'll let you know what is that. See here, the this this is my service account. Okay, so for that service account, I am going for keys and creating a key. So creating a new key. Now JSON and P tool. So select JSON here and then say create. So by the way, all this is only one time process. So then it it shows you a file. Okay, so I, in the desktop, I am going for a new folder. So I'll say read dash sheet read sheet okay so i am just uh, creating it uh, i am downloading that file into that folder okay? so then that's it so your service account is created and uh, uh, your uh, this json object is also created now one one final step is there so what you do you show again you go to this details of your service account see here you can see the email id of the service account to take this email id copy it that email ID you copy, go to your data logger sheet and then go for share button and share your, uh, just paste that email ID of that service account. You need not notify, simply say share. Okay, So this is another step. So share anyway. So these are the things. So now if I go to this uh, share settings, so here you can see uh, this ID 3VH, like that it is added as a shared uh, thing in this. Okay. So what, what we have done in this uh, second video is created a project. The project is 7UH35 whatever. Under that project, we created a, uh, we enabled the APIs and after enabling the APIs, we created a service account. After creating a service account, we downloaded the JSON uh, file. So this is what it is. And then uh, we added the email ID of that service account as a sharing in the Google Sheet. So this all is the thing that I want, I uh, will be doing in this second uh, video. So next step we'll be going into coding. Okay. So this is only one time process. So finally we have something like this. Uh, let me go to the folder. So I'll go for uh, desktop and then I think I called it a read sheet, right? So where is the folder? 
yes this is the folder so this is the uh, json object uh, file that i generated okay. so we will not open this file because it has some in sensitive information you can open it when you generate and see what is inside it but we will use this for uh, authentication anyway so see you in, with the next steps in the third video thank you